Hey guys, welcome back to the React Network course. In this video, we are going to talk about how to implement Rover navigation. Okay, so let's see how we can implement. First, we're gonna install them some packages and we're gonna update the code and we will start the server. Okay, so let's see how we can do it. So basically, what you have to do, you have to open the browser. Okay, and what you have to search, you have to search React Native Navigation. Okay, now I have to click on this. Now after that click on read docs first you have to copy this command react npm install react navigation native okay just copy this and hit it your terminal okay and after hitting this so it will install the react navigation native now after that you have to install this uh, react native safe area screens and safe area context so just copy this and paste it here now after that uh, you have installed the navigation like basically you have to install the navigation container now after that to implement the drawer navigator what you have to do you have to click on guides click on the drawer navigator okay you can see this uh, this is how we can implement drawer navigator now after that what you have to do uh, you can see that there is a code for the drawer navigation okay so this is the article which we're gonna follow so before continuing first install the react navigation drawer and its dependency okay and following the installation is structure so this is uh, the example of drawer navigation it's given like first we have to wrap the root app with the navigation container and in, in there we have to uh, write the code for drawer navigator okay so let's uh, first you know do the installation all the stuff so we have to click on installation in structure so when we click on that we get we went to this site okay this page uh, drawer navigator drawer navigator renders a navigator and render on the side of the screen which can be opened and closed via gesture okay so basically what is telling so drawer navigation can be just opened by using the gesture like if you just slide it at the uh, right direction it will open that okay so first what we have to do to use the navigator we have to install react navigation native which we have already installed and we have to install this package react navigation drawer so let me copy this okay and paste it here react navigation drawer after that uh, first install react native gesture and handler and the react native animated okay so we have to install the react native gesture handler to handle the gesture functionality and for that animation and we want this react native animated so i just copy this okay and paste it uh, here it will install the react native gesture handler and the react native reanimated Draw drawer supports both reanimated one and the latest version if you want to latest version of react reanimated make sure you configure it below following the installation gui uh, guide basically what we have to do we have to uh, do the configuration for reanimated react native reanimated so you have to click on installation guide it will open a page you have to go there okay so you can see that uh, first what we have to do we have to uh, run this command npm install react native reanimated which we have already done now after that what we have to do we have to add this line into the babel.config inside the plugin array okay so let's go inside the babel so you can see that we have a, a babel file so where is the babel file let me see i can find it out uh babel babel yeah we have a babel.config.js and you, you can see that we have to add a inside a plugin so let me create a one key called uh, plugins okay and inside there we have to paste this you can see you can check the spelling as well okay it's correct and you have to just dump it there now after that uh, what they are telling now clear metro bundle cache okay so you have to store the server by clearing, clearing your cache so after I'm going to start the server by clearing the cache okay now after that uh, <coughs> uh, I think that yeah, that's all in this okay now after that we have installed the react native gesture handler with the react animated now we are good to go to implement the drawer navigator okay so 
let's see uh, what we have to do uh, let me open the my VS code quickly yeah we have VS code you can see that in the last video we have talked about the uh, tab navigator top tab navigator you can check it out but yeah let's get rid of whole code quickly okay and what we have to type you have to create a one root component like root app component which you can see it and currently my app is building okay now what I have to do uh, I have to wrap my uh, root app with the navigation container okay so let me import navigation navigation container why it's not giving any suggestion man navigation okay it's not suggestion giving suggestion so let me copy the code quickly so to copy that code what we have to do uh, you have to go on this uh, react navigation click on red docs okay and you can import the navigation container from react navigation native just copy this line open the vs code okay and I'm just pasting it here and let me wrap this navigator container like this okay now after that uh, you can see this article for the drawer navigator okay on the top you can see that what we have to do we have to initialize a const drawer is equal to create drawer navigator okay so I have to initialize that and let me import the create drawer navigator and maybe why it's not giving any suggestion for now maybe it's it is building the app so let the app get built and in the last of the video we will summarize like what we had done so you will know like what i had done okay so you can see that we are getting some error so let me import this quickly all the things set up quickly okay i'm not getting a suggestion so let me import the create drawer navigator for react navigation drawer so you can see that i imported the create drawer navigator create drawer navigator from react navigation drawer now after that you can see that we have to do like this and inside the navigation container we have to wrap the drawer navigator and i have to create some a component the first component will be function feed whatever the component name which you want to give so currently i'm giving uh, the component name is a feed and inside the view we're gonna have a text welcome to feed page okay now the next component will be a article page and let me define an article page as well and welcome to article page and if I reload the app so you can see that it started uh, bundling the app again and let's see so you can see that we are able to implement the bottom app navigator and if I click on this uh, nothing is happening <laughs> I don't know why uh, let's wait for maybe it's it's not working well manner okay let me again rebuild the app so again it's gonna be bundling my app okay so let's summarize that what we had done at so first what we have done basically we okay let's uh, app gets done and you can see that we have implemented the bottom tab navigator oh, sorry we have implemented the drawer navigator so let's add some changes here welcome to feed page welcome to article pages okay and this is called feed awesome okay so this is how we implement the drawer navigator in react native now let's try to understand the code what we had done and how you can done set up this quickly in just few minutes okay so first what do you have to do you have to just type react native navigation open this sites click on read docs okay copy this uh, command react navigation native uh, run it in your terminal after that you have to copy like installation dependency into bare react native project so you have to copy this command again react native screens react native safe area context now you are good to go okay now insert in the in the root component you have to implement the navigation container like this so let's go on the root app and we have imported the navigation con we have wrapped the root app with the navigation container and we had imported the navigation container from react navigation native you can just copy paste this code okay instead of writing it 
okay now after that to implement the driver navigator you have to click on guides click on driver navigation okay now what we have to done you can see this is the example of driver navigation so you can just copy and paste this code to try it out so i'm just copy and pasting this whole code and it will run as expected as its code so you can see this uh, we inside the home we have notification okay now let's go in this browser so this is the example which you can try it out now first what we have to done uh okay so there's uh, telling that before continue continuing first install the react navigation driver so you have to click on installation instruction now you have to run copy this command and run a terminal and it will install the react navigation driver now after that you have to install the react native gesture handler as well as react native reanimated okay now for the react native reanimated you have to done some extra setup so you have to click on this installation guide when you click on this you go this you go to the this side okay so first what you have to done you have to install this you have already installed this in the last command and you have to go inside the babel.config.js file you have to add in a one plugin key and inside there you have to add a react native reanimated plugin key so let me show you which i had done quickly so inside the babel.config.js i added a plugins key and inside that i added this string react native reanimated plugin okay now after that uh, whenever we start your server you have to start the server by cleaning your cache okay now you can see that uh, after the installing that after in, uh, installing this uh, gesture handler and react native reanimated and you have to import this react native gesture handler as well in the root app component so let's go to the root app component and paste it here and if I again reload this app and if I just do like this on the right side so you can see that the drawer is opening okay so yeah this is how we okay let's summarize the code again quickly so first what we have done in the root app component we have imported the navigation container and we have initialized a one variable called const drawer and that create drawer navigator we have been we have calling that function and after that drawer dot navigation we can define the initial out name and inside this we have been a diff we can define all the screens so we are just defining a two screens you can see that home and the notification if you want to add more icons like more uh, buttons so you can add it uh, settings okay now if you click click on this so you can see the setting is come up so yeah that's all this is how we can implement a drawer navigation in react native I think that's all in this video from next video we are going to talk about how to make api call in react native so yeah that's all in this video please let me know guys if you have any question regarding the react native or app development or any project or anything related any queries so i will be really help you uh, i will be very helpful for you guys so i can help you out and yeah thanks all uh, see you guys in the next video thank you bye